What's up guys, I've been talking about doing a recap video for a long time. I've been doing this for, since October 17th, sending out for autographs. And since then, I have filled up this binder and these other eight binders. I have nine binders. And I just want to show you, this is my binder of 50s and 60s. These are some certified autographs I picked up at Peddler's Junction. I have a video on my channel where you can see that. But we got like, you know, Gaylord Perry and Juan Marischal, Frank Robinson, Tony Perez, Raleigh Fingers. All this stuff up really cheap too. Lou Bedreau, Rick Farrell, Bob Lemon, uh, Brooks Robinson, and Willie Stargell, Monty Irvin. Of my postcards, I don't know, I got Brooks, Bill Verdon, Bob Skinner, Stan Williams, Ty Klein, got a bunch of those. But these are my binders of my all my different Whitey Herzog, Paul Fortak. Unfortunately, he passed away a few months ago. Legend Bobby Shantz. Stan Williams just passed away. Dick Grote. Another Stan Williams. Another Bill Verdon. This is how I sort out my cards. I, I put them up by year because I'm working on every set pretty much. As you can tell, there's what the 51 Bowmans. I don't have very many of those. I have like seven. There's a 52 Bowman's with Erskine and Chance. 1954 Bowman set. I bought a hundred of these. And there's some pretty good ones. There's, there's like Frank Thomas, Alvin Dark. There's Vern Law, Rocky Bridges, Stel Crandall, Smokey Burgess, Bobby Chance, Walt Droppo, George Cal, Jim Pearsall. There's Enos Country Slaughter, Hall of Famer, Joe Nuxall, Joe Adcock, Carl Farillo, Epathco. A bunch of these guys are deceased. Johnny Pesky, Del Ennis, Gus Bell. I've never had a Gus Bell autograph before. But the thing about these 54 Bowmans is all of them were, all the white edges were cut off. They're in perfect shape. I mean, you should see how crisp and shiny they are in person. There's Joe Garagiola. I mean, I was very happy to get this set. I bought this set. I have a video of this too on my, one of my videos. Bought a hundred of these for $350 or something. There's a hundred different sign cards. I've always been a huge baseball historian. I love baseball history. Ever since I was a little kid, I would just read up on baseball history. Fortunately, when I got to college, I took a course at a university, and it was uh, called baseball history, and I thought, oh, I'm gonna be great at this. I probably already know it all. Well, unfortunately, our professor that taught the class actually wrote the book. It's kind of hard to BS the guy that writes the book, so. I ended up having to drop out. I was failing his class. He would have like 10 questions. Each question would have 10 questions. Like one question would be, who won the first 10 World Series and name the 10 winning coaches? Yeah, so that was like 20 questions in one question. I know John McGraw won a few in the first 10, but couldn't remember which years. But yeah, they said this was a really good lot. Here's my 55 Bowman. Fern Law charges $8, but he hooked that up. Carl Erskine, Johnny Groth was $5. Eddie Robinson, I think, was $10. Bobby Shantz is $5. I don't mind paying to get these older guys. Some of these were in lots that I bought. Frank Thomas was $5. Cleet Boyer was free. I got him back the other day. Joe Nuxall, I got in a lot that I bought the other day. 53 tops. Bobby Morgan, I believe, cost $5. Those bottom six guys I got in lots on eBay. 54 tops. Uh, my 52 tops, that cost five bucks, Johnny Groth. 55 tops. Mel Roach was, f I gave him five dollars to sign, but I don't think he charges. Gro I gave him five dollars, I don't think he charges. I don't think any of those guys charge, but usually when I send them these old cards, I send them money. 56, there's Carl Erskine. Bill Verdon, Vern Law, like I said, he was eight bucks. Hobie Landreth, he's five dollars a piece. Chance was five. Crone, I gave him five. Fifty sevens. We got Carl Erskine, Eddie Robinson, ten dollars. Like I said, that Vern Law was well worth the eight dollars. There's Dick Rowe, Herzog's five dollars. Uh, Camilo Pasquale is ten dollars a piece. He's got a really nice autograph, though. There's another Bobby Chance, he hooked that one up. Charlie Maxwell's five bucks. Bill Verdon, I think uh, Jose's five, he's five or eight dollars, I can't remember. 
I just got a 56 Jim Small in the mail today too. You'll see that in the video later. 58s. Nice Bill Verdon, Roy Face, Mudcat Grants five bucks, Pasquale was ten, Herzog was five, Voitak and Goyle and Maxwell, Worthington, Bob Skinner, There's Pete and Bud Daly, Albie Pearson was five dollars. He was rookie of the year, nineteen fifty-eight. There you go, cool. That's a fifty-eight card of him. There's Joey J was five bucks. Mike Thomas was five bucks. There's my fifty-nines. Elroy Face, I like that one. I like that Erskine. Brooks Robinson, that's a nice one. But Hobie cost me five bucks. Herzog was five bucks. I think that's a Claude Osteen rookie card. And Perez cost me ten bucks. And Bud Daly, Mel Roach. Frank Thomas was five bucks. Orlando Pena, he has an 1875 like, card. That guy was in the league forever. There's a nice 59, Dick Grote. Bobby Shantz and Billy Verdon. Joe Nuxall, I got in a lot. It was a 60, 60 or 62 Fleer. I think it was a 60 Fleer. 60 Tops. Brooks Robinson. JC Martin, that's the one I showed you and signed by Gary Peters also. I think I finally got them both signed on both cards. Dick Grote. I always like these 60 key all-stars. Rookie stars or whatever. They're nice cards. There's the other. There's that Gary Peters signed by both. Bobby Richardson. 1960. Bobby Shantz and Bill Verdon. Claude Osteen. 61s. Manager Joe Morgan. There's Whitey Herzog. He was five bucks. Bobby Shantz was five dollars. I sent Dick Grote $5. I don't think he requires a fee. I like these 60 ones. They're pretty nice cards. Is that a... Hmm. I might have to go through these because there's two Bobby Shants in there. What I've been doing with my more recent ones... The ones I have like more cards of, I've been putting them in team order. That way, when I go to look to see if I need the card, it's easier to find. I, don't, I haven't done that with these older cards yet because I don't have a lot of pages. Some of my other sets, I have over 200 different cards. So it's a little harder to see which cards are that you need. There's a cool Elroy face card. That uh, Landreth was five bucks. Got these two in a eBay lot the other day. It was the '62 tops. Billy, or, yeah, Billy Verdon. I like. I never heard of Ike Delock before, recently, but I've been liking to get his cards for some reason. I don't know if it's his name or what, but I just, I just like him. More arrowy face. I said most of these cards I've got TTM. There's been a few that came in lots and stuff. I think this is Danny Tardwell's dad. It's a $5 fee. Joey J was a $5 fee. Sixty threes. I always like these 63s too. Charlie Maxwell was $5. I don't mind giving the older guys $5 a piece. All well, those guys didn't make much money. They probably have a lot of medical bills and stuff being older. 64s. Cool Don Buford rookie. I like that Dick Schofield. It's a nice card.
Juan Marichal, that was a $10 fee. I think he's raised his rates to 20 bucks now. There's Davy Johnson card, that's a cool one. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. If you are, hit the like button and I'll do it. I have nine albums, this is one of nine. It'll help you decide who to send to or how cool it is to collect every set. You don't have to collect just one set. I love signed cards, I don't care what they are. I try to get as many as I can. And I'm on lockdown right now. So, I need something to do. Let's look at my cards together. This is the 66. Another Manny Moda. Like I said, I always liked Manny Moda. I don't know if it was just because of his name or there's a nice 66 Brooks Robinson. 67s. I always like that Joe Muller card. Sixty-eights, I always like those too. Just a nice basic card. Got a lot of sixty-eights. This is a uh, newer card. It's one of the fan favorites, but I go ahead and put it in the set just because it looks just like the other cards, and that's the card I had to get signed. So. I don't mind doing that. I stay advanced and he signs, uh, I think, four cards for 10 bucks. It's Brooks Robinson. I try to get as many Brooks as I can whenever I can, can afford to get the card. There's, uh, I got that Don Sutton before he died. He was five bucks. Another Davy Johnson, he was five bucks. He was a pretty good manager. I figured he's worth five bucks. Another Manny Moda. Now you know why I try to get so many cards. Because like I said, I'm working on all the sets. They just, they just look so nice in these albums. It's kind of expensive though. <laughs> you start working on every set. 69s are nice looking cards too. Probably running out of time. Probably don't have. To. I'm trying to be under 15 minutes. Probably not working. Jerry Kuzman, he was $10. I always like those sporting news cards. Those are cool. I like that Don Kessinger. All right, guys, that's my album number one of my 50s and 60s. There's a one Marishal. If you like this, please hit like. I'll do some more. Uh, please subscribe. Please hit all. That way you can see all my videos. Thanks, guys. Peace.